Hi, I'm Bill Griffith. In my last demo, I showed you how BPM on Cloud could call Odium on Cloud using a Java service. Uh, the latest BPM on Cloud has some new capabilities, REST services, to import Swagger files to make this a lot easier. And uh, Odium on Cloud actually now exposes the decision services uh, as open API so that you can uh, import them e more easily. So I go into my previous uh, place order activity and this was my Java code. I'm going to replace that now with this new service that I can do from uh, BPM. Actually before I import that I need to go to ODM, drill in on the rule execution server, find my decision service, which version I want, and then retrieve this. I'll tell it the latest and I'll tell it to download that. That downloaded the Swagger file. So now over here I can point to that in BPM on cloud. Point to that file and it's going to name the service. Let's leave the default name. I'll let it uh, uh, import that operation it discovered and it's going to create a server as well so I can specify where that URL is and the uh, credentials. So let's go do that now. So I go to my server. You'll see it pulled that in but of course it doesn't know my credentials. So I need to enter that here. Okay, I save that and now I go back to my um, activity. So to call the service, I need a flow. This is a service flow so I can specify any uh, scripting that is necessary uh, to call that service, initialize variables and things like that, data mapping. So I'm going to call this call ODM flow. And I'm going to pull in an activity. That's going to be my uh, pizza rules. Specify that service that it discovered right here. And I need to specify which operation. Okay, now I need to go in and create some variables to pass in the data for that. So I'm going to say input variable, input, and I'm going to choose the request parameter that was discovered for me. And then I'm going to pass back the output as a response. And let's also pass back the error. Let's call this. All right, so back in my diagram, now I can map those variables in, input, output, and the error message. And now I need to fix this link. All right, now I can save that, and that service is ready. I'll close it and I don't need that service definition. In here, I can now pull that service onto my coach, uh, my client side human service. Call this uh, call ODM flow. What am I gonna call? Call that ODM flow. And then I'm gonna fix this uh, link. This doesn't need to be there. And this link, I'm gonna have it go down here and then when it's finished it's going to go back up to the coach with the data that it got. In fact if you want to fix that you can pull that down here also. It looks a little cleaner. Okay so to this guy I have my real service and now I need to specify the data that's going to go into that. So again I'm going to create some variables. These are going to be private. I'm going to have um, pizza order and that's going to be a request that was discovered. Okay, and then I need to create the output, which is pizza output. That's going to be a request response. And then let's add one for the error, ODM error. All right, 
And now I can specify that those variables, that's the pizza order going in. This is the pizza value coming back from ODM, and this is any error that it may encounter. So now all I need to do is go in and initialize these variables so that they get called correctly. So I can use code complete here, pw.local. And then I just pick. I want to pass in the request dot order dot pizza type and it equals the HTML form, which is the pizza dot pizza type, what it gets from the HTML form. And I need the size and the type, and that will allow me to calculate the price. All right, that's what I need for input. And then when the rule comes back, I'm going to pass it into that uh, object, that uh, the pizza order that is bound to the HTML form, the coach, uh, to update the field. And that's it. I save it. And now I can test it right here. Let's enter a veggie. Large. Hit the button. Boom. There's the value. Let's try something else. Meat lovers. Large. Boom. Different price. And that quickly, that easily, I am able to integrate BPM on cloud with ODM on cloud. Uh, using the latest versions uh, of BPM on Cloud and ODM on Cloud.